Oh no. What? Mario, is that little you? Unique. Special. One of a kind. Nothing else like it. One and only. Oh yeah. Oh, no, I was... <laughs> oh man. That's right. Oh yeah. You... Oh, what are you thinking, Vince, huh? Here we go. Go, 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 go. Come on, oh, get yeah. out of the way. Out of the oh, way. Wait, no, 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 I was right there! I'm done. I'm done with Mario Kart. I'm done playing video games. It's over. Hey guys! Hey yo! Oh! That reminds me. I'm almost late for my daily milk bath. Move? So I better move it on out. All right, Caljo, see you around. And hey, thanks for playing Mario Kart with me. Hey, no problemo. And Hannah, it's always great to see you. All right, take care now. You heard? Good to see you too. So what you up to? I've been looking everywhere for you. Did you see that we got invited to a Super Smash Bros costume party later? Yeah, I saw that before you came in. Are you gonna go? I think so. I just don't know which costume to wear. Well, I was thinking that we could wear our costumes when we did our very own Super Smash Bros a couple weeks ago. That was like it hurt. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he's gonna be Sora tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. And that's the week we talked about the epic showdown that happened on Mount Carmel, proving that there's one and only God. Or I was thinking that we can wear Minecraft costumes from last week. You mean where you absolutely bombed my creation in your creeper costume and ruined it? Boo! Hannah, what are you doing? Yeah, but I helped you rebuild it, Steve. True, and I guess that did help us realize how important it is to take care of God's creation too. Oh, for sure. And after all, there is one and only world. And we should enjoy it. So what's it gonna be? Steve and the Creeper or Jigglypuff and Sora? Well, technically, I think Steve is the only character choice in Smash Bros, not the Creeper. Aw, oh, man. Oh man. Well, I was thinking of changing it up a bit and being Luigi since I was just playing in Mario Kart. Yeah, I was thinking about changing it up to Princess Peach. Awesome, so I guess I'll meet you back here later today then. Yep, see you then, Luigi. Okie dokie. Heyo. Hi. Let's go, it's Luigi time. Wow, you're really into this. Oh no. What? There's another Luigi here. Oh, I think that's Colton. I think you're right. But why isn't he wearing the Yoshi costume from a few weeks ago? We have Colton playing as Yoshi. I don't know, we didn't wear our costumes for last week. True. And besides, I'm not surprised that there's more than one Luigi here. I mean, after all, it is a Super Smash Bros costume party and Luigi is pretty popular. I guess you're right. I just wanted to be the one and only Luigi. Well, you'll be the one and only Luigi Vince. I suppose. Let's go say hi. Hey guys. Hey. What's up my fellow Luigi? Hey. What's wrong with you? He wanted to be the one and only Luigi. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, man. I want to wear my Yoshi costume, but I want to try Luigi this time. That's what I said too. But Hannah said at least I'm the one and only Luigi Vince. Hey, Anna. Hey, Vince. I'm so excited to see all these Luigi co costumes. Yep, there's a few of us. Wow, that's awesome. That's what I'm gonna be, too. I'll be right back. You have got to be kidding me. What? There's another Vince Luigi. Uh, it's okay, Vince. Here, have a cookie. Thanks. Hey, I know it'll cheer you up. What? So, get this. Later, there's gonna be a real life Mario Kart race. This time, we're gonna wrap our costumes and we're gonna battle it out on the track. You love Mario Kart! Yeah, I guess I do. And this time, I'll make sure to wear my Yoshi costume so you can be the one and only Luigi. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Colton Luigi. I got you, Vince Luigi. <laughs> hey, did someone call my name? Spider-Man, Spider-Man. I can't wait to be the one and only Luigi. You're fine. Hey, look, there's Donkey Kong over there. Uh, that's actually a bull. 
Literally. I still want to check them out though. Actually, me too. Let's go check it out. We'll see you guys later. How about we hang out for a little bit, eat some snacks? All right. A little later. <gasps> Yippee! I finally have some friends to race with. Hey, Aiden. Mario, is that really you? Yes, it's a me, Mario. It's a my brother, Mario. Well, what are we waiting for? It's a Mario time. And Luigi time. And Luigi time. That was so much fun. I know, and you got to be the one only Luigi. Yeah, but even if I wasn't, I was thinking, you know how we've been talking a lot about one and onlys recently? Yeah. Well, I enjoy dressing up and all, but I enjoy being the one and only me. That's a good point, Vince. I do too. But come on, I heard they were gonna go get ice cream. Oh, count me in. Hey there, Kids Planet. My name's Matt, and last week we talked about all of God's creation. The sky, the land, the sea, the plants, the sun, moon, and stars, the birds, the fish, and all the amazing animals. Well, after God looked over all these awesome things he made, he saw that it was good. But then, after he made people like you and me, he looked over all that he had made and saw that it was very good. You see, we as humans have such a special place in God's heart, and God made each one of us different in our own unique way. There's only one of you and only one of me. There will never again be another me or another you. That's how special we are. And because God made each of us just the way he wanted, he knows us better than anyone else. He even knows us better than we know ourselves. Psalm 139 verses one through five says, O oh Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I am going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. And remember, God knows us that well because he made us. Verses 13 and 14 say, you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. Your workmanship is marvelous. How well I know it. And one of my favorite parts of this chapter is right here in verses 17 and 18. It says, How precious are your thoughts about me, O oh God. They cannot be numbered. I can't even count them. They outnumber the grains of sand. That tells us how much God thinks about us too. His thoughts about us are so many that they can't even be counted. Isn't it so neat that the one and only God who created the one and only world actually thinks and cares so much about the one and only you and the one and only me. That's how much we all mean to him. Wow, what an awesome way to end a great day. I know, right? I love thinking about how much we mean to God. Yep, God made all of us in our own unique way, and he wants us to be just who he created us to be. You're right, Vince. And kids, we want you to remember that too. God made you unique and special, so you can be confident in who God made you to be. That's right. And the original you is the best you, so don't try to be anyone other than yourself. Just think for a moment about who you truly are and how wonderfully different you are from everyone else. Because all of our different looks and personalities are what makes life so special. Besides, it would be boring if we were all the same. And most of all, always remember how much you're loved. First, think of how much others love you. Friends, family, teachers, and more. And now, think about how much more your creator, God, loves you. 
Yep, he loves you more than anyone could ever love you, and he thinks about you constantly. Ephesians 2.10 says, For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so that we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. So make sure to be the person he created you to be. Because remember, there is one and only you. Hey Kids Planet, thank you for joining us today as we got to hear all about how much God loves us. Don't forget to join us again next weekend for a party that happens only once a year. That's right, it's our one and only Planet Party. And this year we're celebrating video game style with fun decorations, games, and a special prize for all who come in person. Want to see what that special prize is? All right, it's an awesome fidget cube. So don't miss out next week on this one and only awesome party. See you there. Oh, wow. Where did all my Luigi friends go? I wanted to take a pic.